Chemistry Paper 2 for the year 2018. Question number 2, testing on the periodic table. Welcome. Figure 2 is a section of the periodic table. The candidates were advised to study it and answer the questions that follow. The letters did not represent the actual symbols of the elements. So the grid is here. For group 1, we have letters G, K, J. Group 2, there is L. Group 3, M. Group 5, we have I. And group 8, there is V. For period 1, there is G. Period 2, we have I and V. Period 3, K, L, M. And period 4, there is J. So the first question asked the learner to select elements. The word here is elements, plural of element, which belong to the same chemical family. So chemical families are usually groups. If we look at group one, this is where we have more than one element. So this is where the candidate was to focus on. But as we know, up here, there is usually hydrogen that is represented by G. Hydrogen is usually not part of the alkali metal group. So we were left with only K and J. That would be the same family that is called alkali metal. So the answer here would be K and J. Half mark each. And if a candidate went ahead to write G, then the half mark would be denied. The reason is G is not usually a member of the alkali metal group. Now we would go for K and J, but if a candidate converted these into the actual symbols, they would also get the answer. So K is sodium and J would be potassium. Moving to the next question, candidates were asked to write the formulae, again plural, of ions for the elements in the same period. So, we look at period one, there is only one element involved. Period two, we have two, but V normally doesn't form ions. So we are not going for period two. Coming to period three, there are three elements. So this is where the candidate was to, sub, uh, to focus on. Because period four also has only one element. So moving to period three, K would form an ion of K plus because it forms ions by losing only one electron. L would have two plus forming, elect forming ions through loss of two electrons from the outermost shell and moving to M would have M three plus. Those were the expected answers for question two, for one mark. Now here, a candidate who gave all the three ions would score one mark. Two ions we would give half and one ion only would score a zero. Let's now proceed to question two, part B. In Question 2, part B, we are informed that the first ionization energies of the two elements K and M at random, which means 577 would either be for K or M, and 494 would also be either for K and M. We are asked to write the first ionization energies 
for this element given and indicate the correct energy. So here we realize 577 is bigger or higher than 494. So we'd go back to our grid and identify which element would have a higher ionization energy. K is here, M is here, and as we know, these two elements belong to period 3. For period 3, we know that M would have stronger nuclear charge because it has higher number of protons. For that reason, M would have a higher ionization energy than K. So that would mean that the higher figure here of 577 would be for M and 494, the lower value would be for K. With that information, we would now go ahead and write the equation. Remember, it is first ionization energy. Both elements would lose only the first electron. So we have K. Of course, ionization takes place in gaseous state to give K ion, which will still be a gas as well, of course, accompanied by loss of an electron. So we've agreed here that the ionization energy for K would be 494 kilojoules per mole. Then for M, again, we are only losing one electron to give fast ionization energy. So that would form the ion of M and of course accompanied by loss of only one electron. The ionization energy for this now is 577 kilojoules per mole. That would be it for half mark each. Now, for part B Roman 2, we've been told to explain our answer in B Roman 1. Why are we going for 577 for M? and 494 for K. And the answer here is very simple. That across the period, of course we are dealing with period 3, we have nuclear charge, nuclear charge or nuclear attraction increases. We could also talk about across the period number of protons, number of protons increase. That would give us the one mark for giving us the reason why the ionization energy of M is higher than that of K. Now to part three. We are told to write the formula of the compound formed when L and I react for one mark. Now going to our grid, you realize that L, L is in group 2, valency 2. I is in group 5, valency 3. So to write the formula, we would have L3, and I2. L is having a valency of 2 and her I has a valency of 3. So when we are writing the formula, don't forget we interchange the valencies. That leads us to Roman 4 of part B. Give one use of element V. The actual symbol or the actual element is actually neon. So this question was asking us to give at least one use of neon. And as we know, neon can be used in fluorescent. Neon is used in fluorescent tubes or tubes would be replaced with bulbs 
or even lamps. Then we also use neon in advertising signs. Advertising signs. We can also use neon in lightning arresters. Lightning arresters. Neon can also be used in arc welding. We also use neon in high voltage indicators. High voltage indicators. So any one of these uses would give ourselves the one mark for that section. Next, we are asked to state another group that G can be placed in figure 2. And then we explain. G is actually hydrogen. And we know that hydrogen can be placed in either group 1 or group 7. So that would be the answer. Group 7, for one mark, we go ahead to explain that hydrogen can gain an electron. It can gain an electron to form an ion of G minus. Just like those in group 7 do. The halogen group. So that would be the correct answer for one mark. Next, we are asked to compare the reactivity of J and K. Now, where do we have J and K? J and K belong to group 1. Here they are. And as usual, we know reactivity of these elements increases down the group. So J is more reactive than K. That would be the answer for part C, Roman 2. So J is more reactive than K for the first mark. Now, we will continue to give a reason as to why this is so. And we have so many reasons for this. One is because of increase in number of energy levels. Apart from this, we also give a reason that reactivity Reactivity increases down the group. Another explanation that a candidate would give is decrease in effective nuclear attraction on the outermost electrons. And we would also say that J has a larger atomic radius than K. All those would deserve to be the correct reason why J is more reactive than K for the next mark. Now to part D, Roman 1. We are told element L and M form chlorides. We were told to complete the following table by writing the formulae of each chloride and stating the nature. Now, looking back at our grid, L is magnesium here and M is aluminium. So we know that chloride of magnesium is written as L. Cl2. Of course, we could replace the letter L with the actual symbol magnesium. Now, magnesium chloride is usually neutral in solution. So, half mark for the correct formula, half mark for the nature. Moving to aluminium chloride. Here, we have two options. The normal aluminium chloride or we could write it dimer m2 
CL6. Any of them would be allowed, and as usual, we know aluminum chloride is acidic in solution. Half mark for each, giving a total of two marks for the table. The last question, D Roman 2 informed the candidate that the chloride of M, that is aluminum chloride, vaporizes easily while the oxide of aluminum has a high melting point. We were to explain. So the explanation to these would actually come from the type of structure that these two substances have. So a candidate was simply to inform us that chloride of M has weak van der Waals forces simply because it has a simple molecular structure. Now, what about the oxide? Its oxide has strong ionic bonds. Or we will talk about giant ionic structure. Explaining either the bonds in the chloride of M or the structure, one mark, sorry, and explaining either the bonds in its chloride or the structure. Another one mark giving us the two marks that were assigned for that section. Dear candidate, with that we've come to the end of our review where we've looked at the periodic table as tested in the year 2018. Kindly keep it the Kenyan teacher for more of such insightful reviews.